So we're going to take a quick second to go over a brief intro into how the Prep Wizard app works. First, there's a couple of one-time settings that you should adjust to get things started. Number one, in the upper right hand corner is where you can type your employee name. This will save unless you manually change it later on. Also, when you're first using the printer, it may prompt you to do a setup if it detects multiple printers in the area. It will send a test label and you just confirm that it worked and now your printer will be saved. So we're going to start off in the truck tab. The truck tab is for unopened products that come off the truck. And you'll see here all of your products are listed. And usually you can just go ahead and start printing. But in some cases, your shelf life data will not be entered for a particular product because you have to reference what's on the package. So for example, green peppers, you see the drop down here and you have to manually enter the package expiration date. This is only the case for products that do not have shelf life info listed on your shelf life chart. Next, you can manually edit the receive date for products that you're prepping back in time. This is if you want to go and recreate a label or if you're prepping a label for products that you received earlier in the day. Next is the prep tab. These are labels for open products that you are in process of prepping. Again, you'll see all of your products listed here on your catalog, and typically it will pull the shelf life data from your catalog. You'll notice that there is a receive date drop down under each product. This is not always necessary, but you can manually enter the receive date by looking at your truck label or the package label, and this will act as a fail safe to limit the longest period that the expiration date can be calculated. Again, you typically won't have to do this, but if there's a product that is close to its life cycle, you may want to enter this in so that you don't print a label that goes longer than actually allowed. Finally, we have the production tab. These are for products that are in use and on the make line. Again, your entire catalog will be listed here, and this is the most straightforward tab is you will always have information listed in here and there's no manual entry required. So you can just select your products here and once you're done with that, select print and it will print out all of your automatically calculated labels. <laughs>